Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 6 of Dawn of Man. So if you remember, at the end of last episode, we had a raider party coming in. So I'm going to immediately, before I'm pausing, turn on the raiders are coming alerts. Um, here they are, coming cresting over the hill here. There aren't too many of them, so I'm not all that worried. But there were some tips and changes I want to make, but I'm going to wait until this raid is done. Now, there isn't really a lot for me to do in terms of micromanaging the raid. Um, generally speaking, just turning on the alarm is about all that is really required. Because, as you can see here, all of the ranged combatants are all sort of waiting here patiently for the raiders to come. I'll speed time up. And for once, I'm not going to fast forward through the raid. As you can see, the raiders get defeated pretty soundly, pretty quickly. And that's it. I believe. I think that's all the Raiders. Just the two? Let's hope. Um, this did, however, give me the knowledge in order to unlock some more something. Um, so let's see. Stilting, which is required for bridges, and donkey domestication. Yeah, let's do some stilting. Uh, the reason I want stilting is that I constantly find myself swimming over this water here, which is dreadfully inefficient, um, when you can instead just transport over it easy peasy, nice and fast. Now, there is a land bridge crossing it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that my people use that land bridge. They don't always, so I'm going to build a bridge there anyway. And I do need to build five bridges in order to have the knowledge of having done that. So um, three useful ones is a pretty good head start. Now, what was mentioned is I just simply have too many farm fields here. Uh, and I am definitely not going to disagree with you. So what I'm going to do is deprioritize uh, some of them. So that we don't overwork our people. So I'm deprioritizing about two fifths or three fifths of each farm to lighten the load. Oh, it was already normal priority. So to lighten the load so that we can um, not be overworked by the farm fields. Yeah, I, I added too many too quick. Uh, but honestly, I, I'm kind of okay with that because we'll grow into it. I wanted to designate the areas and that was what was more important to me. Let's get moving. Checking our current research. One more person puts us into a new population bracket. And one more domesticated animal as well. Uh, which would be pretty cool. So let's see if there's any little tykes for us to domesticate around. I don't have donkey domestication yet. I can capture a few Ibex. We'll immediately slaughter it because I don't have my... I have the priority set to not allow f to keep goats. And as you can see, bridges are going up. I do have five sledges, but it, most of them are pretty worn down. So I think what I'm going to do is start to add some additional sledges, which would be in transport. I want to... Make sure to have enough sledges because they'll the older ones will decay. So we'll get three more. And of course, I tame it and I slaughter it. The way of life. So one thing I didn't want to do is to fully disable the skins and leather outfits, but rather to phase them out uh, eventually. So what I'll do is I'll bring this down to 75% and bring these up to 125%. I don't have enough wool or linens to provide clothing for everyone, so I can't fully rely on the outfitter, of course. Um, but as you can see, we have 38 warm clothing and 31 cold clothing. So it... You know, between the mix of the two, we have enough for everyone. And some people are going to be happier than others because some people have 
warmer clothing than others. Uh, fortifications is probably a very, very... I, I should have done that before stilting in hindsight. Uh, that will allow me to start walling off my town. Now, the thing is... Um, the... Yeah, ideally, what you would want is stone walls. But you're going to have to start with the sort of crummy wooden ones. Which require a lot of wood. Uh, but I do, I, of course, I am surrounded by trees. I'm going to start select cutting. The trees that don't have tannin or fruit. Because some trees will have tannin and fruit. Um, and I won't want to necessarily cut those before the others. Okay, the haystacks are getting nice and full. And now is the push for the last of the research in Neolithic before I go copper. Now it is possible to just jump into straight into copper if you wanted to. But some of the things that you... Uh, yeah, I have a feeling like you don't want to skip over some things. So pig domestication, for instance, isn't all that necessary or i don't think not immediately like there are some texts that you might want to skip like you could skip if you don't care about bridges whatsoever you could skip stilting or you could skip um really animal domestication as a whole if you don't really intend to use it um but i like to be somewhat of a completionist and get everything that i can so i, t I tend not to skip if i can help it uh, we do have some... Oh, that is for purchase. Let's not do that. Uh, is there something I want here? Let's buy some of their wool. It's nice and cheap, relatively speaking. Their commission is average. And that will allow me to replace my um, skins outfits with, with wool ones. Also looking at my tools, I have a lot of bone spears. So maybe I'll keep these outfits and sell my spears, which allows me to buy some additional food off of them too. And straws. I can buy pretty much all of his stuff. There we go. That's a big trade. Making sure my granaries don't fill up. And we just hit the population threshold for knowledge. So if I go back to my knowledge, as you can see, we hit 25. Next one's at 30. Um, checking. I have room for two more people, uh, which means I definitely should add some residences. So I'm going to make another hut. I'm going to start to... Hmm. I want to keep everyone, like, sort of central. So I'll put the hut there. And then once we built that hut, all of these older uh, tents will be upgraded. I just don't want to upgrade the tent and temporarily not have shelter for someone. That wouldn't be great. Additionally, we could do something with the, uh, the megaliths. I could possibly have another megalithic, because our population has been booming. So it wouldn't hurt to use some of these megaliths out here for spiritual and prestige gain. For whatever reason, this map has a whole lot of megaliths to be mined out, which is nice. It does mean that I'm going to need a lot of leather to move them. And at the moment, I only have eight, which is not a whole lot, which means we'll need to do some hunting for some additional leathers. That that can come in a bit. I don't need that quite immediately. I do need to build two more token bridges, I think. Let's double check. Bridge building, three out of five. Yeah, two more token bridges. I could keep them. Um, doesn't hurt to have extra bridges, I guess. As long as I have the uh, resources. If I absolutely needed these sticks and wood that goes into them, or I guess it's just wood, I could break them down for the wood. Now that is a pear tree, but I'm going to cut that down anyway, because it is sort of 
encroaching as to where I want to expand my village. I just built my fifth hut. So this hut is all set, which means, as I promised, time to upgrade the old tents to huts. Which will require a lot of um, uh, straw, but fortunately, because of my massive barley harvest, uh, straw is something I have plenty of. Workload is too high. No, it's actually fine. All right, there's my fifth bridge. Another piece of knowledge. Let's check the lowest hanging fruit for knowledge. I could build four crafters up. Um, I would never use them, so I would immediately break them down. But they're they're not super expensive. I might as well get that out of the way. They require dry skins, however, uh, which means, again, hunting. So what I'm going to do is hope that my auto hunters are not terrible. A whole lot of cave lions. Do these help with knowledge? Wolves? Yeah, they would. They absolutely would. So what I'll do is queue up all the cave lions to be hunted, and then... Any of the hunters that are going there, I will grab like this and sort of co-op. And let's go get those lions. There's one. We're going to take a little bit of damage. And that's all of them. All four lions. Hopefully I won't get infected from that, the wounds that I incurred. But that also allows me to... Oh, so right now I don't have enough shelter for everyone because I upgraded all those things all at once. But that's enough to give me fortifications. Which is pretty nice. Fortifications is a useful one because it allows you to build a whole lot of different types of constructions. So, um, the raiders tend to come from over here. At least that's what I've noticed. So, I'm going to make a palisade there. And some watchtowers. Now, when you hit the alarms... Uh, people will man the watchtowers, and as a result, they will fire upon the raiders without taking damage, which is pretty cool. Alright, uh, you are not constructed yet. And we have another, so well digging. Uh, because my starter city is right on the banks of a river, well digging is not super, super important. But what this will allow you to do is people need to drink periodically. And having wells placed around your base can shorten their walk to the riverbanks for food or for uh, water, I should say. So it's not a terrible thing to have. I just don't find it super useful. Now if you have the wells next to your storage tents, you can store the water in your tents straight away. So I did sort of put the wells, well, maybe not this one. But I put this well right next to this tent. Uh, I can add a well here as well. Heh, <laughs> pun unintended.
Now with all the additional palisades and gates and the like, I will start to need to cut down a whole lot of trees. One of the unfortunate things about progress is deforestation is a little bit required at times. Uh, it does mean that if you have the chance to purchase uh, wood off of a trader, it's wood is usually very cheap and somewhat required to progress. This trader has like nothing I want. Congratulations, trader. You are, in my eyes, useless. I will buy, like, two wool. Oh. There. Two wool. Just so that I can start to replace my skins outfits, because I'm starting to need the skins for construction and the like. So it would be ideal if it didn't get tied up in people's clothing. So if I have a sheep being slaughtered, why? Uh, let me check. I'm able to have 10 sheep. The one that got slaughtered was... Because it was old. I see. Maybe I can find some additional mufflon to tame. Here's some adult mufflon. Uh, double clicking them don't yield any youngins. Unfortunately. Now that we have all of our tents to huts, we have a nice increased capacity. Now I know what you're thinking, gate without walls is kind of pointless, and you're right. I do get knowledge from the gate. But the palisades that I'm going to have to make are really, really, really expensive. So the way they work is you just drag in like sort of a pattern like this. And you'll get to make palisades. But it's costly, as I, as I said. Um, so ideally, I would have my palisades go around like this. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to paint it like that instead, which means these I'm just going to cancel. And this is a, a lot of wood. It is a, quite a lot of wood to do it, which is means a lot of deforestation. And then it's kind of pointless because, in my experience, the moment you get it built, uh, you'll end up with... Um, you'll end up with stone walls. You'll, like, tech up enough. Oh, nice. We have some new sheep that were born. Come on, dog. Survive your infection. I believe in you. So as you can see here, there's um, some of the outfits are getting made as we almost have enough wool outfits for everyone. There's the last crafter. Now that we're moving away from having the crafter make outfits, I'm just going to have them stop. Our population just hit another milestone. Checking on my workload. We're good. Straw is okay. Food is plenty. Built my first well. Nice. another well and wells are pretty cheap to make so I'm gonna definitely make uh, five of them for the um, for the research and it doesn't hurt to leave them up and we have enough for the last Neolithic tech pig domestication so now I have to save up 20 for copper era Looking at my current wood, we obviously have none. 
So I know that I can make a zone to cut down trees, but I kind of want to select cut if I can, leaving the tannin yielding and fruit yielding trees in intact. Because I find that select cut is far less destructive than clear cut. Clear cutting would be to clear every tree in the area, um, but then it leaves all the fruit and tannin yielding trees dead. And that's not as helpful in my opinion. So I'm select cutting the spruce and pine and stuff like that. And leaving the firs. Looks like our granaries are full. Let's go ahead and drop another one. Storage. Granary. I'll put this one here. As you can see, I'm upgrading one storage hut. I'm probably going to remove the other one. I'm going to recycle this one and recycle this one and upgrade this one. And another trader. Because my prestige is going up, I am getting more trade. Uh, this trader's commission is high, so I'm probably not going to do much in the way of trading with him. I will trade one log for one bread or two bread and dismiss him. And hopefully the next trader won't try to rake me over the coals for profit. Now some of these trees that yield tannin, I'm going to cut down anyway, just because it's they're pretty close to the base where I'd want to naturally expand. I got my fifth well. One more point towards the 20 requirement. I could build uh, three more granaries if I need to. Also, uh, five gates, five watchtowers... All these new tech contribute to the total as well. So we'll take a look. Megaloceros, regular bears, deer. I've never hunted a deer. That seems crazy to me. Are these mufflon? Oh yeah, so I can capture a bunch of sheep. Also, I haven't forgotten about my megaliths. I did queue up a lot of the megaliths to be mined out. Um, so let's take a quick look. A lot of them are ready for transport. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And what I'm going to do with this is a giant stone circle. And we'll have two to spare. Um, I'd like to make the stone... Oh yeah, here we go. Right in the center of town. That way it is very close in order to um, get your morale up. Because it is a high morale object. I do have some additional leathers, dry skins, and tannin, so we can absolutely... Let's change the amount of leather we have. Raw skins, tannin... Actually, leather is unlimited, so I don't have to change anything. Oh, but I'm being warned I have no flint, which means this mine... Oh, it's actually not tapped out. We're just using a lot of it for tools. I think because of our somewhat explosive population growth, uh, it's harder to tool up people. I'm going to take that guess. But regardless, I can definitely queue up another flint mine here. So let's go ahead and add buildings, production... Flint mine. Now workload is going to be really, really high as I'm carrying the menier or the uh, the megaliths over to my stone circle. But that will be a temporary high workload. 
Also, the workload is high because I have these palisades that are incomplete. I do have a lot of logs, though, so I just need to start building them. Or my haystacks. Oh, my haystacks are full. All right, time to make another haystack. Storage haystack. I don't want it too far away. So we can stock quickly. I'm curious if I'm able to... No, I'm... Oh, yeah. Just barely able to create palisades around the farm there. That'll work. That'll have to do... So winter rolls around once again, and we have plenty of wool outfits for everyone. Linen, however, not so much. Uh, what I'm going to start to do is to... Well, these are all lentils. Um, I'm going to remove this farm entirely. Sorry, guys. I know you were working on it. In place of flax. So flax yields linen, um, which is used for the warmer clothing, because I definitely don't have enough dry clothing, or war uh, not dry clothing, uh, cool clothing for everyone. That's what I'm lacking the most. Um, flax is planted in the spring, which is, I think, when barley is... No, yeah, same as barley. So we're going to have a huge workload pile up when all this stuff gets planted. A sledge just died, so I'm going to replace it. And are you guys going to sell me fair priced average? Okay. Somewhat fair. Um, I'll buy your leather and sell you... Some bone tools. And a skin outfit. I can start using the skins for trade because I have so much wool. I'm not going to need to save the, uh, the skins that I have. Looks like Operation Deforestation. Well underway. I'm constantly keeping an eye on my log supply. And more people just randomly join the settlement. Which is a result of prestige and welfare. So if I check my welfare, it's pretty high. My prestige is low, but, you know, uh, on par with the development of the settlement. Uh, once this stone circle gets constructed, my prestige is definitely going to spike, however. That I have no doubt. So let's see. Did I? Yes. I have actually queued up them to work here. And I believe that, yeah, it's not a collection zone. It's just a mine. So, hopefully people start mining it. I'm constantly in need of flint. But soon, I'll be making copper tools. Sort of soon. I have not quite enough knowledge for it yet. Alright, so here's the big plant season. I'm going to make sure that all of the flax is high priority. So we definitely don't have enough uh, clothing for everyone of this season. And we have two of the six stone circles delivered. And one more in transport. You can see up here how many of the megaliths are currently rolling. So I have one rolling towards home right now. A 
lot of my sledges are going by the wayside. Man, this storage hut is literally not being used. Wow, I have a lot of tools in storage. A lot of flint knives. I'm eager to move over to copper soon. Now, let's see if there's anything easy to hunt nearby. No, really not at all. There is a severe lack of animals around to hunt. There's an Auroch. Alright. That will be a target, I suppose. The next population landmark, milestone I should call it, is 40. Now, as far as regular milestones go, 20 domestic animals is a nice target for me to hit. Now, here's our fifth rolling mini, or rolling um, uh, megalith. Don't know why I keep calling it mini. -er. And we're 6 20ths of the way, or 3 tenths of the way towards Copper Age. Once you advance to the Copper Age, there is, um, raiders do ramp up considerably. I'll put it that way. So, it's not something you want to rush too quickly, because if you're not ready for it, it might come back and bite you hard. But that is all the time I have for this episode, guys. So if you have any suggestions or tips or feedback or questions, uh, drop me a line, and I do hope that you tune in next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this has been informative and helpful. I'll catch you all later. Adios.